Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Mike Green. I'm one of the owners of 1A Auto. I want to help you save time and money repairing and maintaining your vehicle. I'm going to use my 20 plus years experience restoring and repairing cars and trucks like this to show you the correct way to install parts from 1AAuto.com. The right parts installed correctly. That's going to save you time and money. Thank you and enjoy the video. In this video we'll be replacing, removing and installing the door panel in this 2003 Dodge Neon, same as any 2000 to 2005 Dodge or Plymouth Neon. The tools you'll need are a Phillips screwdriver, a flat blade screwdriver, and a putty knife or a door panel clip tool. First thing you're going to do is pull up your switch here and just loosen some clips. Okay, and pull it out. And let's see here. Start with the black one. And pull it out. I have to press in on this red tab. Okay. Okay, and your plate's off. Um, I did start with the window down. It's normally easier whenever you're doing a, um, a door panel. Uh, next thing is there's a little doorway right in here. Just pry it out with a um, screwdriver. And there's three Phillips screws. This one here, there's one here, and then there's one down here. I'll take those out real quick. Okay, so I've taken out these two screws. This one's loose. It'll probably come flying out when I pop the door panel off. And what you want to do is you want to start up in this um, top corner here and you want to use a putty knife and carefully work it in there. The putty knife usually won't do any damage to your paint um, and this first one is pretty easy. It comes out and then what you want to do is work your way down okay, and you'll hit a clip. Okay, So you hit the clip and then you pull it out just a little bit until it goes down and you're right up against the clip now. Okay. Then what you want to do is take a screwdriver with a rag around it. Where was that clip right there? Okay. And push the screwdriver in there. And you know you're doing it right because basically on these front ones, as you push the driver in, you'll pop the clip. Okay, so here's the back side of the door panel, and you can see these are the locations of all the clips. Okay, so there's four, this is actually the back side of the door, so there's four on the back side of the door, corner, two on the bottom, the corner, and then one up here. And this you can see is the mirror, the front of the door. Okay. And basically, you want to do that all the way around. Okay, so now I've gotten all the clips around the door panel out and basically what you're going to do is lift off the front first and there goes that screw it really came out lift off the front first and then the back and then you know I clip your door lock rods and your power or lock switch okay so here are your lock rods your handle rods basically what you want to do is take your door, uh, screwdriver and work it in behind there and I'm using my thumb on the other side, pop that clip off, and then this rod comes down. And then the same thing with this one up here. Pop it off, and the rod comes out. Okay. And then unplug your uh, lock switch here. Okay. And your door panel is free. Okay, so putting the door panel back on. Reconnect your door locks here. Okay. And then do these rods. Okay, this bottom one first. Okay, get the door panel kind of in the right position here. Push up, through, and then flip this pin, or this clip, around and on. And this top one. Let me pull this pin out. Put 
the rod in. And then clip it on. You want to make sure this weather strip is right on your door. Okay, and start by guiding this little clip up here. Make sure this is all in. Guide this little clip home, kind of. Pull your door panel up and over the weather strip and push it down. Okay. And then you can actually put in this first clip here, just to kind of keep things in place. Okay. And just make sure your pins go in, and you can, you can push it right in. Take a good, takes a good backhand. They're going in their holes first. Reinstall the three screws, one, two, three. I'll do that. And then I'll show you the switch plate, it's easy enough. Okay. Yeah. Um, three, you've got this this one with the red tab is your mirror. So that goes on there, and then the red tab goes down in, and then these two are color-coded. The gray goes into the gray. And the black goes into the black one, and then pretty easy. Just line it up, put it down in. Okay, so I'll finish tightening up my screws. This one, this one. Take this little door, put it, push it back into place, and you're all good. Brought to you by www.1aauto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Feel free to call us toll-free 888-844-3393, the company that's here for you on the internet and in person. Thank you.